Hey guys! So today I'm going to be reviewing the Flora Beauty and Bloom Australian Pink Clay Mask. My skin has been really like aggravated lately. I've had a few breakouts. As you can see, I've been popping those breakouts. I oh, know, it's not good. And I've got a nice little friend showing up for me here today. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity a perfect opportunity to try out this clay mask as it's supposed to really help you know clear up your skin if you have any dullness dryness it doesn't have to be acne if you just feel like your skin's looking a bit meh this clay mask is supposed to really help liven it up give it a bit more glow just a bit more healthy healthiness a bit of a healthy look to your skin as well as helping with acne so i'm going to give it a go today give it a bit of a try out a review like i said and let you guys know what i feel like how i feel about the product do i feel like it's helped or not do I see any difference in my skin? Just giving you guys an idea in case you want to purchase it or not. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really cute little camo print. I absolutely love it. I think it's so earthy and like so natural. It really gives a more natural vibe to the whole product because it is quite a natural organic kind of face mask. So some of the natural ingredients in this product are pink kaolin, which is a pink clay. It's got some water, aloe vera, organic aloe vera even better which is really great for helping clear up scarring and things as well it's got vitamin A, vitamin E and also got some rosemary in there as well so there's so many different natural things to help really boost the skin I know vitamin E is also extremely extremely good for the skin as well the clay mask is supposed to detoxify, cleanse, tighten and brighten your skin so it removes toxins, pollutants um, and any other nasties like that and stimulates regeneration of skin cells so it really helps the skin to regenerate healthy new skin cells and get rid of the old really worn down like scarred up ones that we have on our skin or on our face it's supposed to purify so it helps tighten your pores speeds up the skin repair process to reduce irritation and give you just smoother looking skin this clay mask also detoxifies your skin by removing, like I said, the pollutants and nasties that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis to create, and it also creates an anti-aging effect for fresh, healthy, and youthful-looking skin. Woo! It also assists in removing eczema as well as acne, guys, so if you do find you suffer with a bit of eczema on your face or on your skin, I feel like this would help with that as well. So this product here is supposed to also cleanse and tone the skin as well and help speed up the healing of breakouts and pimples, which is just so good. I really look forward to that. This product is also vegan and cruelty free. So I'm going to apply this clay mask with a foundation brush. You can use your fingers if you like. I just find it a bit more sanitary to use a brush. My skin has been breaking out a fair bit, like I said. The complexion's a little bit uh, So I feel like this clay mask should do the trick. I hope... Fingers crossed that it does. Uh, I'm going heavy duty on this today. You can do a more thin layer of the mask on your skin, but let's be real, I never go small. It's either go big or go home. Oh, I can't get over how cooling that is. It's so nice. I feel like if you guys did have like really bad breakouts like I did last year, like really bad acne and it's quite painful, this would feel so good on your skin. So now that it's on, you can see it's starting to dry. I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit like crusty and then I'm going to go ahead and like remove it, come back and share with you guys how I feel the mask worked. So I'm back. I cleaned off the face mask. And then as you guys can see, like when you apply it, oh God, my face feels so smooth. Oh my God, I just felt it like, oh. like especially in my nose area too. Like that can kind of tend to get a bit of texture and it's feeling super smooth at the moment. Like and here over my pores. My skin's feeling a little bit tight, like not uncomfortably tight, but it is a little bit more taut um, than it was before. But it still feels really good, like my skin in general feels really good. So when you apply on the face mask, it applies on pink but dries white. When I removed it, you can see my face is still a little bit red, and that's usually from the detoxifying process. Like when you have a mask that detoxifies your skin, like with draw like draws out all the toxins, it can leave it a little bit red for just a, you know maybe five ten minutes or so. And it's also dulled these like scars. Like when I removed the face mask, like it was so much more duller. Like these just were so much more faded, which is really cool. I'm so happy with it. So here's a close up of my skin. So I showed you the before, this is like the after, that's just from the detoxifying process, the redness that'll fade in a little bit, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out on my skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know if you have any requests for me to try out any products or 
review anything that you've wanted to try out before and aren't sure about, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.